I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will prove a trigonometric identity which is cos theta divided by 1 plus sin theta equals to tan pi by 4 minus theta by 2. We are going to apply these identities to find derivative of trigonometric inverse functions. So the idea is to just uh, recollect what we had learned earlier. So a few formulas which can be used to prove this identity, I'll discuss those with you first. Uh, one, we learn that cos 2 theta is equals to cos square theta minus sine square theta. This can also be written as 2 cos square theta minus 1 or 1 minus 2 sine square theta. But this is the one which we are going to use here. Now if I divide these by 2, I could also write this formula as cos theta equals to cos square theta by 2 minus sine square theta by 2. Right? That's kind of important to know. So, so basically, as you see, we are talking about theta by 2. So what we'll do here is use our formulas with theta by 2. So these are general formulas which we know. So we'll just divide the angle into half and get the relative uh, identities to prove the identities which we are interested in. Similarly, we also learn cos square theta plus sine square theta equals to 1. We could also write this as cos square theta by 2 plus sine square theta by 2 equals to 1, right? So, so the idea is all those formulas which you did for theta are valid for theta by 2 also, right? So that's the basic idea. Okay, now let's get back to the question and see how to prove it. So on the left side, we are going to start from the left side. We are given cos theta over 1 plus sine theta, right? So we are given cos theta over 1 plus sine theta. Now what we are going to do here is replace cos theta by cos square theta by 2 minus sine square theta by 2. You get an idea, right? So 2 theta formula was modified and we are going to use this formula here. So instead of cos theta, I am writing cos square theta by 2 minus sine square theta by 2, okay? And in the denominator, I replaced 1 by cos square theta by 2 plus sine square theta by 2, right? So we write this as cos square theta by 2 plus sine square theta by 2 and we have sine theta here. Can I write sine theta in theta by 2 terms? Well, we have a related formula here. We have sine 2 theta, right? That is 2 sine theta cos theta. So if I do angles half, it becomes sine theta, right? So sine theta could be written as 2 times sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Is that correct? Right. So that is how we can write all these angles as half angles. So what we did here is translated all our formulas from the given formulas to half angle formulas. Correct. Now, the numerator can be factored a square minus b square. Right. So we could write this as cos theta by 2 plus sine theta by 2 times cos theta by 2 minus sine theta by 2. Correct? How about the denominator? It is a perfect square. a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we could write that as cos theta by 2 plus sine theta by 2 whole square. Right? Now we can simplify this by cancelling out the common factors for numerator and denominator. So we get cos theta by 2 minus sine theta by 2 in the numerator and we get cos theta by 2 plus sine theta by 2 in the denominator. <clears throat> now how to simplify? We are far from getting this formula. Now, tan suggests that tan is ratio of sine and cosine. 
curry. So what we can do is we can divide both numerator and denominator by cos theta by 2. You can say that. Or we can factor cos theta by 2, right? So, so I'll show you how we'll factor cos theta by 2. Let me write here, okay? So we will take cos theta by 2 outside. So we get 1 here, 1 minus sine theta by 2 divided by cos theta by 2, correct? So we just factored cos theta by 2. The idea is to get tan. And here also we can factor cos theta by 2, right? So we get 1 plus sine theta by 2 over cos theta by 2. Is that okay? Now cos theta by 2 gets cancelled. Sine theta by 2 by cos theta by 2 is tan theta by 2, correct? So we could write this as 1 minus tan theta by 2 divided by 1 plus tan theta by 2, correct? Now, you look at the term pi by 4. What is tan pi by 4? Well, tan pi by 4 is 1. So I could replace this 1 by tan pi by 4, correct? So we'll do that. So instead of 1, we'll write tan pi by 4 minus tan theta by 2 over tan pi by 4 plus tan theta by 2. Now, does that remind you of something? We learned a formula which is tan A minus B, right? Do you remember that formula? And tan A plus B, right? Now, <coughs> since this is minus on the top, we actually get tan A minus. Let me write down this formula also. So, uh, so this is direct application of tan A minus B. So we can write this as tan uh, pi by 4 minus theta by 2. So if you expand this, you get this. This is a standard formula, tan A minus B. So let me write down here. You can remember that we learned this, tan A minus B equals to tan A minus tan B divided by 1 plus tan A tan B. Okay, now tan A minus B, which is tan pi by 4 minus tan theta by 2, this is tan A minus tan B divided by 1 plus, now tan pi by 4 is 1, right? So it is 1 plus 1 time, right? You can consider this as 1 time this. Is it okay? So it is that way so we get this formula, correct? You could write 1 here, so 1 plus, and you can multiply this by 1, correct? So, so you get this formula. So that is how you can prove that the given expression is tan pi by 4 minus theta by 2. I hope the steps are clear, right? So remember, tan pi by 4 is 1. So now you can match these two, right? So that is how you can prove it. We are going to use this uh, proof, rather the identity, in substitution methods for finding derivatives of uh, trigonometric inverse functions. So I'd like you to understand this and few other videos before you get into differentiation of trigonometric functions. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.